everyone, you are very welcome to this week's Bedtime Story from Fairless Library. My name is Rachel and this week I'm going to read a super funny story about Eat the Pig and All the Frog. And it's by Sophie Burrows and is published by David Fickman Books. Now, so, meet Eat the Pig and All the Frog. Eat and All for short. They are the best of friends. They do everything together. Just the two of them. And they love all the same things, splashing in the lake, eating big juicy worm burgers and making massive mud men and playing in a super cool, crazy, loud, totally rocking rock band. No! One morning, Ig went off to meet Og at the lake, but Og was not alone. He was floating along with someone else and they looked like they were the best old friends. Hi, I'm Bog Frog, she said. Bog for short. Ig thought she was very small, very yellow, and very slimy. Ig was not happy, and he did not like floating. Ig liked splashing. <gasps> Bog is ruining everything, Ig muttered. Ig was not happy, and his tummy was rumbling. He was looking for. He was looking forward to his worm burger for lunch, but, but Bog took them to her favourite restaurant. Ig didn't like the food. Do you see all the flies? And the food didn't like Ig either. Bog is ruining everything, wailed Ig. Ig was not happy. After lunch, it was time for band practice. But Bog was so super cool and crazy loud and totally rocking that Og didn't even notice Ig's amazing drum. That Og didn't even notice Ig's amazing drumming. He only had eyes for Bog. Ig was not happy. He had enough. Bog is ruining everything. Now nobody was happy and everything was broken. Look, he smashed up everything. Ig was all alone. He tried to pretend that Og was still there. Then he was angry that Og wasn't there. Og and Bog were together, just the two of them. It was not fair. So he marched off to find them, feeling cross. But when he got there, Bog was fixing Ig's drum kit and Og was preparing a worm burger picnic to say sorry. Ig was still not happy and he was going to tell them but his tummy was rumbling so first he thought he might just have a little taste of the worm burger and then he tried a small slurp of lemonade. To finish he scooped a slice of cake. It was delicious. Soon he was having so much fun that he forgot all about being cross. He was starting to feel different. He was starting to feel happy, really happy. Maybe having Bog around wasn't so bad after all. Maybe having two best friends was better than having one best friend. I'm sorry, said Ig, hugging both his friends. I was super jealous, crazy mean and totally grumpy. We're so sorry too, Ig, said Og. And we didn't mean to leave you out, said Bog. Then, and then Ig felt so happy that he started tapping. Then Og started strumming. And so Bog started humming. So Ig started drumming. Then Og started rocking. And Bog started singing. Ig, Og and Bog played and played and played. They were so super cool. Crazy loud and totally rocking. That soon everyone wanted to join the band. Oh, and they're holding auditions. Oh, wasn't that a great story? So we'll see you next Friday for more bedtime stories here from Fairless Library.